Hey there and welcome back. So this week it's going to be like a bit of a shorter video. Um, but yeah, I know there wasn't anything at the weekend. I do apologise for that. But just being bank all the weekend, uh, I, I just had other bits and pieces on. And well, I've not mentioned it before, but last week was my birthday. Woo! So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was doing a few bits and pieces. But yeah, this is a... I'm really excited about this one. So... If you remember a while ago, um, I mentioned about uh, doing some vehicles with lights and um, the idea was to make them, uh, make quite a few up and then at some point um, pop them somehow so if people wanted to get them from me then they could. Uh, obviously to help with the channel, like anything what I did make was going to go back into the channel. but. As you know by a video I've done previously, um, the old noodle sometimes goes off one a little bit. And it, yeah, trying to work all that out was honestly, it was just a little bit too much. Um, I, yeah, I just, ooh, one of them sort of thing. So, as you know, Ashton Model Centre is my local model shop. So I went in, spoke to Stuart and said, um, you know, look, there's, I was make, making these vehicles up. Um, I was wondering what you thought of them. Could I, you know, like maybe rent a little bit of a shelf off you and see how they go? Cause just that, that was like a bit easier for me to do. Um, I said, yeah, 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 that's brilliant. No, yeah, no, no problem. So I was like, awesome, fantastic, thank you very much. Now, so what I've done is changing that slightly because it's, like I said, it's just working. It, it's just better for me because I can do something what I can enjoy. I can still get the enjoyment of like, you know, people popping them on the layout you know, helping them to make the layout pop with that bit of light and bit of colour sort of thing. And yeah, it's just absolutely brilliant. So for now, what I am going to do is I'm just going to make them up. I'm going to pop them, like I said, in my local shop. Um, and at this point in time, it's just a bit better for me. It's a bit easier. Um, so it's not to say that I'm not going to uh, do them and put some online because I have my own little um, idea what I want to do with them because I like the idea of um, having a switch um, because in the mind of you know like you can move it around to different locations on the layout uh, some are easier than others to do with switches in that sort of thing but um, but at this point in time one thing that he did ask me to do <coughs> excuse me uh, he asked me to make them with wires now I was like yeah okay that's cool I can do that and the reason behind that is the more shall we say serious modelers they'll say make a bit of a diorama they'll put it all together and like they'll go like sort of thing that vehicle staying there that's what it's gonna do so I was like yeah okay cool I'll do that for you so at this point in time the ones at Ashton models are all going to be wired which is awesome and the advantage with wired ones is is that the batteries do last an awful lot longer uh, then if you've got a switch, you know, you don't have to unscrew the model to change the battery, which I understand for some people, you know, it, it may be a difficult thing to do, maybe just like a bit of a pain in the backside sort of thing. So I completely understand that. So at some point in the future, um, I am going to sort something out um, so I can have um, some that I do... Uh, sell myself that I can like you know post a little bit of a link to so you know that's gonna be really awesome like I said when I can get this thing up here to um to allow me to do that sort of thing 
so and it's not that I'm not going to ha put, keep putting them in Ashton models I am um, you know the, there's as long as I can make them you know I'm going to keep popping them in there and um, this is what I wanted to kind of show you the only downside to this is that when I've made them I'm like uh, I really like that one I want it so <laughs> so yes yeah, so I'm going to have to make sure that I don't go um, can I buy this one off you please <laughs> otherwise yeah that's not really going to work <laughs> so we've got some down here what I've already made up um, I've tried to hide the um, the prices because these like aren't the prices sort of thing um, you know obviously they'll be priced according to you know time spent and materials used and the time making them and uh, you, you, you know what I mean if you've seen them online you've seen like how well how expensive some of them can be when you see the work what goes into them then that's fair enough um, but yeah so just quickly the idea behind these is that these are nice and simple they are easy to do and the good thing with these ones that are in the shop and at some point yeah I am going to do quite a few of these for myself is that these will run if you just give me one second so you'll have to apologize of the uh, sketchiness of this because <laughs> this is just my tester pack obviously I test every single light before it's even fitted so this is just a double A battery little battery pack um, can't show too much of the batteries for copyright but you see there just two little batteries and the good thing about this is that you know you can quite often get cheap batteries you know you can buy them in bulk from various shops and online shops and the good thing with these is that they last for ages there was uh, some vans what I made up what I'd put in the shop this was a couple of weeks ago before um, I decided to do this video and on one battery pack um, you know, like Stuart said to us, I literally I switched them on when I got in the shop, I turned them off when I left and there was about three of these running and they ran for like a fortnight of just one of these. So if you're up in the loft for say a couple hours a day or you know on your layout and you have these on for an hour or a couple of hours just with like a little battery pack like this, you, know, you can get a long long running time out of these which I think it's absolutely fantastic because you know it means well <laughs> you just get far more enjoyment out of how long that they can go um so yeah I actually think this is you know this is really really cool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pop you to the desk I'm going to show you um what's going to be going into the shop this week one thing that I will say <laughs> is that um I'll show you on the desk but with some of them they've got lights in the front now for some reason and I need to work out why I don't know whether it's just like this camera what I'm using sort of thing but sometimes some of the lights at the front do appear blue but they're actually not they are white so any flashing lights what are at the front are a hundred percent white I know the white I ordered them but for some reason on the camera they do seem to have like a blue tint to them so yeah so um but again I've got the camera what I've got for now so in the future when I can yeah I will be up updating upgrading the camera so what I may do I may put a little timestamp on the start of this video you know, if someone just wants to skip and see the lights on the vehicle sort of thing but um, but yeah, so let's taste the desk. Let's show you what we've been working on because I'm really really made up, um, and I don't say this often, and maybe I I should say a bit more often. But I'm really proud of what I've done with these. So hopefully that you like them. Hopefully anybody who buys them from the shop will like them when I um, eventually get around to sorting out a little something 
um, to sell them for any like subscribers like yourself who say can't make it down there and want to get something what I've made um, then yeah I will definitely be doing that at some point in the future I can't guarantee when like I said I've, you know the old little noodle sort of thing sometimes needs a bit of a jump start <laughs> but yeah when I get round to it um, I will be doing that and hopefully that will be fantastic as well so anyway stop delaying I know <laughs> let's pop you to the desk let's uh, have a look at what's going to be there I'm going to be taking these in on Saturday probably Saturday afternoon <clears throat> so um, so yeah and there we go Ashton Mon Centre will have some of the model railer um, lighter vehicles in and I'm really excited about this so thank you so much because you know you guys have with what stuff what you've seen what I've done in the past you know have kind of given me the uh, the courage to try and broaden my um, horizons I push myself to do a bit more so yeah so thank you so much for doing that so come on I know I know let's get down and let's see what we've got right okay so here we are now with the exception of this one because this is um this is my own one of these and this was the very first one that i had a go with so um yeah but um there will be some more of these as and when going into the shop so but this is the one that i'm going to show you lit up so as we can see we've got some older vehicles we've got some newer vehicles so we've got a modern day police car We've got the ambulance, we've got the, is it this one's the Mark, yeah, this is the Mark II Ford Escort, we have got the Ford Transit, the Mark I, and then we also have the minivan, and this is a little cool one, I really do like this. So on these three here, just keeping it, you know, stereotypical to what would they would have had sort of thing so these have just got the single blue light flashing on the top the ambulance has got all the blue lights on the top working and the headlights and this one which has been done the same as this which i'll show you in a second has got top front and rear flashing lights in so if i get my little test pack let's just hook this one up and it would be better if I did this the right way. And I will say on the vehicles what I've been doing, the red wire is always the positive and it's either the blue or the black for the negative. So let's just make sure that these two don't touch. Yes, I do have a better set of these I am going to sort out. And look at that i'm so so made up with this so in fact let's just zoom in a little onto this one come on with the camera right okay i have to go for a second they just wasn't playing so as you can see oh it doesn't look too bad now in this in the daylight we've got white flashing light to the front We've got our blue flashing lights at the top and then we've got our red flashing lights underneath. Now what I think is really cool with these uh, with the LEDs that I use is that you kind of don't know what you're going to get. You know sometimes the fronts will just flash together sometimes they'll be you know out of synchro and you get this really cool light one-sided and I think this is really good because if you see emergency vehicles there's all sorts of different sequences that you know they can flash in so I think this is absolutely brilliant and I really as you can see there both of those are coming on at the same time now I absolutely love how these have turned out and um, yeah I'm uh, I am really proud of how this is done so here we go if I can just oh dear if I can do this without shaking everything around too much. There we go. Sorted. So yeah, so these are going to be going into the uh, the shop on Saturday. So 
I hope that if there's anyone who's able to get down there then check them out and have a little look and uh, I'm absolutely made up with this and basically thank you to you guys for giving me the confidence to push myself and go a little bit further with these and I'm so proud of how these are looking so yeah so anyway I will pop a little uh, short video in uh, of night time what they look like and the colours on these really really do pop and also you'll see just how many I've got running off one of these sets of batteries so it, it, it's brilliant because the low voltage is brilliant so anyway thank you so much for watching and yeah oh, I'm so excited to get some more of these done so anyway with that being said like and ugh, I'm doing this wrong way around thumbs up like and subscribe if you would that would be absolutely fantastic thank you so very much and as always we shall see you in the next video <laughs>